If you're familiar with the reduce function in Python, then it's probably worth knowing how to use accumulate from the iter tools module. It delivers pretty similar results, except with one key difference. And to set this up, we're going to need an iterable and a function. I'm using this list of numbers, and I'm also using the multiplication function from the operator module. What I'm going to do is apply the mul operator to my list of numbers. So what I'm going to see is two times two times four times five. But the key difference with the accumulate function compared to reduce is that we're going to keep the numbers that are generated along the way rather than just having a single number left at the end. By default, this will return an iterator, so I've just cast this to a list. But you can see we get 2, 4, 16, and 80. But reduce would have just given us a single number at the end, whereas accumulate is keeping those intermediate values. So I'm seeing a result of 2 times 2 for 4, and then seeing the result of 4 times 4 for 16, and then finally we're then times that by 5 to get 80, and we're seeing all the values kept along the way. 